Hey everyone, Dave K here, and today I'm so excited to share with you the most expensive thing that I have ever bought, individual item, not like a school loan or a car, but individual, just sort of outright purchase. Really, really excited for this one. Let's do it. Okay, here we are opening up the box. So I've purchased a lot of items before in the past. I've purchased a sectional couch and all kinds of other housing type stuff too, but nothing as expensive as this. And I am opening up here my first ever MacBook Pro. So excited to see this one. I was looking for a long time. I was thinking about different laptops I could get. I figured this would be a lot easier for editing. And so I decided I'm finally going to get myself a Mac and I got a laptop as well. So it'll make it so much easier if I decide that I want to do travel and do vlogs while I'm traveling or help out with other adventures, that kind of thing. I'll be able to video and share adventures with you on the move. So, so excited for that. And let me know what you think about that as well. Are you excited for the idea of maybe traveling videos and that kind of thing? Let me know. So here we go, opening up the box here. It's a little tricky right here from where I'm seated. Maybe I'll have to get a better seat set up soon too. I actually want to do a mail time soon too. So I want to be able to share that with you at a good angle. So we'll see how this angle works out for me but it's a little loud opening the box, which hopefully means it's very carefully sealed in there. Let me tell you a little bit more about the machine as I'm opening it up, and I'm so, so excited because I can see it here now. I emptied the box, there's just a couple pieces of styrofoam type thing in there, and I have here the machine. Oh my gosh, really, really excited for this one. Again, I've used them before, but I've never had my own MacBook, little Apple laptop there, so, so awesome, so exciting. It's packed really well, as you can see. I like all the foam and stuff on there. I kind of dropped this on my chair here. And now I've got my charger. Looks like I don't have the headpiece, but it's in a different bag here, so that's cool. And that headpiece will plug in here, and that one plugs right into the wall. This one, yeah, it looks good. The magnetic piece there, so we've got both of those two pieces, you know, critical parts of it. And since it's a laptop, it should have a keyboard and mouse sort of taken care of built in there. Oops. It wants to slide out the side here. So this is like a, uh, I just found, this is like a, uh, almost like a bag here. So I started to let it lean. I started to open that one side and it started sliding out. So I'm glad I caught that one here. But here it is, oh my gosh. So, so excited for it. So just letting you know, the reason I, uh, I got this while I'm opening it up here is to be able to, again, edit on an Apple. I've heard so much easier. I've heard such good things about being able to do work and to edit on Apple. I have a lot of trouble trying to export my video. Sometimes it takes hours on the computer that I use now. And also as a laptop to be able to edit on the go is really, really nice idea. So, so, so excited for this one. And a couple of the specs that it has, it is actually a 2015 computer here. So I did buy this one refurbished, used, and it has really good specs as far as I'm aware. I think it has like a 2.7 gigahertz processor. It's a quad core. I think I've got 16 gigabytes of RAM in here. So really, really excited for this one. And there's a graphics card as well. I believe there's a two gig graphics card. We'll see what kind of use that gets. It sounded almost kind of sticky when I opened it up. Oh, it looks like the uh, the metal here is a little bit, it's not perfect. You know, it's a little bit uh, dented there, if you will. It makes it a little bit harder to open. Is that what that was? Yeah, maybe. But opening it up again sounds sounds smooth. So it was just that sort of initial opening. I think I'm good here. Really, really excited again for this one. It looks beautiful. I'm thinking about getting myself a case and sort of a, uh, you know, a drop proof cover and all that. I'm gonna press the power button and see if it boots up or if it needs to be plugged in. And, oops, it's booting up. It's booting up. Let's take a look. There's the little Apple logo. Uh, let's see what it's got on. It's gotta update that software or whatever. But again, really, really excited for this one. I'm really excited to be able to use it for editing, to be able to share those adventures with you. Hopefully it'll work a lot faster. There's a lot of other advantages I can see to this as well. You know, to be able to do like FaceTime or iMessages, if I'm talking to family, to be able to use the computer for that would be awesome, you know. I'm, I'm really, really excited for the idea. Right now, uh, again, sort of waiting. Oh, here we go, welcome. So we have to register my Mac here. So really, really excited for that one. Again, so glad I got it. And again, that big reason is to be able to share these adventures with you. So thank you so much for being a part of the adventures with me. 
Are you excited to see this go? Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you have an Apple or you have a Windows? Do you think, oops. Contains a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. If you don't want to use VoiceOver, press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. If you would like to learn how to use VoiceOver to set up your Mac, press the escape key. Interesting. That's cool. Good to know that there's a voiceover option to set up the Mac as well. But I'm just going to go ahead and click United States and start going through those initial steps. Yep, I have a US keyboard here. And you can see, again, this is a it's pretty good condition. There's a little sort of ding right there. But uh, it's definitely not the end of the world on that one. Um, and I figured, you know, make it a little bit easier for me if I uh, get a, uh, a used one as opposed to trying to get a brand new one. So. Really, really excited to share all of these adventures with you. Thanks for being a part of it with me. We'll see how this one goes. Also, super, super excited for to celebrate my first year, year anniversary on making videos on YouTube. So, so excited to share it with you. Thanks so much for being a part of it with me. So exciting. It's been an awesome year. So much has changed. So much has grown and evolved. And I've done so many different things going from Twitch to YouTube. I actually started out on YouTube making some gaming videos and I'd play some games with Mike and post those on YouTube. And then I did some Twitch streaming and I'd post different clips from Twitch streams onto YouTube. And then only about three months ago, four months ago, I started doing some travel adventures whenever I went somewhere. I went to a couple different places. I went to Houston and I recorded some of that and shared that. And I went to Disneyland with Mike for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge opening and shared that. And that one was really exciting. I think a lot of people were excited for that too. So I shared a bunch of adventures with you. Sushi Sunday it was sort of back when I was in San Francisco. Shared some of that adventure with you. And there's been so much fun had so far in the past year. So really, really excited. Uh, for all of the fun adventures to come. Thank you so much for being a part of it with me. What have you thought of the adventures so far? Have you enjoyed it? What would you like to see more of? I know I do those polls as well. I just did a poll recently for uh, sort of gauging what everyone's been the most interested in. And I hear, what I've been hearing, and let me know if this sounds about right to you, is, you know, I hear a lot of the adventures and vlogs and theme park adventures, but also at the same time, maybe some variety. Like maybe you want to see some universal adventures or some other park adventures or some other maybe beaches or something like that adventure. So let me know if that sounds about right to you. There's so many fun ideas. You know, I want to be able to provide entertainment and really exciting adventures with you. I really like making those music videos and I'm trying to come up with more fun, silly ideas. I thought about making like mini movies where maybe I write out a script. I have some ideas for like little scripts that I've written for like stories that would be cool movies. I don't really know how to like graphically design a movie or animate a movie, but maybe like a real life movie where we act out, if you will, some of that script that I've written. Or maybe I can do like a thing where I read that script and I sort of tell that to you and you can sort of experience it uh, as I'm talking. Or, or another thought was maybe I do like a stand up, like I can tell some jokes to the camera. We do like a recorded stand-up. So those were all sort of different thoughts that I'd had. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts. Do those sound like fun adventures to you? Is that something you'd like to see more of? Let me know. But continuing on here with the laptop, choosing a keyboard layout. We are in US here. I'm pretty surprised and pleased that this just kind of booted up as soon as I pressed the power button. I'm not sure how much battery it has and it hasn't told me yet. I imagine maybe once I connect to the Wi-Fi and once I go through all this setup process, I'll be able to see exactly how much battery it has and what that home screen looks like. But uh, overall, the fact that it turned on, that it had enough battery to get started uh, was really, really cool. So just taking a long time from me giving it the Wi-Fi username and password to it telling me that it's correct. I'm hoping that I have it correct this time and we'll see if I'm able to connect to the Wi-Fi network. And then from there, we'll be able to do all kinds of cool stuff. But really, I just wanna to get to that home screen and see what that home screen looks like, you know? Is it, what kind of battery does it have in it right now? Is it all sort of set up? I don't imagine there's too much set up on it. It's probably completely clear, you know? I wonder if it has, a, it probably has like Safari set up and that kind of thing. But uh, really, really excited to see what the machine looks like on the inside. Continuing on here in the setup of my computer, it says data and privacy. This icon appears when an Apple feature asks to use your personal information. So that's cool to know that they're asking me about that. And I can transfer information to this Mac as well. So that's interesting. So from a Windows PC, I wonder how I would do that. You can transfer information later. So I think I'm probably gonna do that later. You know, I'm not gonna worry about transferring data right now but it's something cool to keep in mind. And then I have to sign in with Apple ID here. Okay, continuing on here, signing in with my Apple ID. So I have to try to figure out what my Apple ID is here. So I'm gonna look at my 
iPhone here and see if I can look it up. I don't know, I feel like most people probably just remember what their Apple ID is, but I can't claim to be an expert on these things, so you know how it is, right? You, you get it, you get it. Well, the challenge now is trying to figure out my Apple ID password. And again, I don't really remember all these things, so I'm trying to figure that one out now. And I've got the terms and conditions here. It's got the Mac software agreement, Game Center terms and conditions. So I'm just gonna go through and agree to those conditions here. Setting up my computer now, I'm creating that computer account. It's connecting to the iCloud, so it says setting up account right here. You might be able to see that. Really nice that it's booting up to the iCloud account. And that should, I imagine, might make things easier for when I actually get to that home screen. Maybe it'll already have imported some of that data or information. I'm just kind of waiting for that one to load. I do want to plug it in here, so I'm thinking I'll probably try that here. So it looked like my iPhone was protecting my access to my account, so I have to also enter my iPhone password in addition to my iCloud password in order to access that data, so I'm all good on that one now. So the next question here is, would I like to use iCloud Keychain to keep my passwords, everything I've saved on the cloud on this computer here? So I'm thinking I'm gonna do that and we'll just continue moving forward. I'm not sure I've actually used it for anything though, so we'll see. And then it takes me to Express Setup here. So I've signed in, it says Siri, allow maps and other apps, help Apple improve its data, all that stuff. So I don't think I need to change any of that, but maybe I should, maybe I should turn off the Siri or stuff like that. I think I can always change that later. So for now, I'm just gonna leave it the way that it is. So here's another one. We've got all your files in iCloud. Keep important files stored and saved everywhere. I don't see why not on that one, but you know what? I think my iCloud may be too small for that. So I think I'll say yes for now and we'll, we'll see if that changes. And I am almost done. I can tell I'm there because it tells me to choose my look between that light or that dark setup here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the light setup, sort of classic ones. Feels more happy and positive, that kind of thing. I'm gonna go ahead and click continue on that one and see what we get here. It's setting up my Mac now. So I just kind of wait here while it sets up the machine. Really, really excited for this one. I feel like it's gonna be fantastic. Hopefully it'll make the editing and that sort of processes so much easier. Really, really excited to share it all with you. And I'm here, the computer is all booted up here. Looks really good, tells me the time and everything. And you can see I've sort of got that homepage set up. Really, really excited here to be using this laptop. So excited for it and looking forward to all of the fun adventures to come with it real soon. Thanks so much for being a part of the adventures with me today. Did you like seeing my new Apple laptop here? New computer I've gotten, just sort of the everyday stuff in the life. Let me know in the comments below. For more fun, family-friendly adventures, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay informed. And until next time, play on. So here's another one. We've got all five... <clears throat>